need one event to go, but the gap has been narrowed now to two and a half points, and that really sets it up for the very final event, doesn't it? I thought it would be a close competition. I didn't think it would be this close. Um, I'm still hanging on in there, but we've um, got a tough event now. I've just got to win this one to make no doubt about it. Gary is right in saying it's a tough event. The eighth test is one that Doug Edmonds and his team knew would provide a thrilling climax. It's called the Atlas Stones. The stage set for two competitors in each heat, and they have to lift five enormous granite stones on top of the barrels in the quickest time. Vennenberg is actually competing against one of the reserves because Badenhorst is out. Those stones increase in weight as you reach number five, and that one weighs an incredible 300 pounds. Well, the reserve is actually going very well indeed, but remember, Vennenberg has had two hard days of competition. The final one now. Can he get it on top of the barrel? Only just 24.19. Vennenberg has done well. Enrique Raven up against Harold Collins on the right-hand side. Both men wanting to finish in style. Here goes Raven on the left. He nearly crashed that one on top. Collins is going, and Raven mistimed it there. Despite that, he's just ahead of Iron Bear, but that's another slip. Now Collins looks as though he's going to go back into the lead. Three, three. What can Harold now do as he leads up to the 135 kilo stone? Here he goes with a big one. Raven's on the last one as well. Well done to Harold Collins, 30.73. Raven just struggling a little bit. 38 seconds dead. Those stones familiar to Magnus and Manfred in this heat. They've used them a lot in the Highland Games competitions where they're actually called the McGlashan stones. I think we might see some fast times here. Riku watching and perhaps learning. Oh, this is fast. They're neck and neck. Magnus just going ahead a little bit of herbal. It's going to be a cracking time. Oh, Magnus nearly threw that one on. 17.87, fantastic. Manfred with this last one just outside Venenberg's time, 28.55. Magnus, you said you were going to set a very fast time. You've done exactly that. Yeah, but uh, Gary is also very fast at stones. And I think Rico will be also. Well, let's see. I hope it's enough. I don't know if Rico has experience in this event, but Taylor certainly has. And if he's going to take the overall title, he must beat Herbal's time of 28.56 to make sure. Well, this is a very fast start by both men. Coming into the second barrel now, no problems, but Riku has knocked it over. Taylor really going very well indeed. This is great stuff. He's on the last one now. Up it goes, he's done it. The fastest time of anybody. Riku is still there, but he knows he has lost. 27 seconds dead, fourth place for Kiri. But just look at Taylor. Congratulations all round at the end of two marvellous days. Hang on, I'll see you first. <laughs> Gary, world's strongest man for 1993. That was fantastic. Oh, I was so nervous that uh, closer than I thought it would be the end. But oh, my one of my favourite events. Brilliant, really pleased. Well, everybody says the sign of a true champion is to do it when it counts, and you did exactly that. Well, I was a bit upset with the throw in the block. That's usually a good one for me as well, but he can't be good all the time, but he's finished up good, and oh, am I pleased now. Yes. <laughs> Magnus, the end of another world's strongest man, second last year, second this year. It was very, very close in the end. Uh, that's how it should be. It should come down to the final event, like it did. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with it. Like I said, I'm, uh, I have been in better shape. So I'm really pleased with it. Not half as pleased as Gary Taylor, I'll bet. Britain provides the champion for only the fourth time in 16 years of competition. He follows in the footsteps of Jeff Capes and Jamie Reeves. Magnus clawed his way back into second place by just half a point. And as we await the presentation, in third place, we've seen a possible champion of the future.
Riku Kiri just one individual victory in two days, but so consistent. Magnus champion in 1991 and now second two years in a row. Gary and the final act for the delighted Welshman. The presentation to a very appreciative crowd. And Gary now with the Mayor of Orange, Alain Labbé, who has promised the champion his weight in Chateau Neuf du Pape. That's an awful lot of wine. The presentation of the trophy by Eleanor Barnes, senior product manager on behalf of Tonka. Gary Taylor is the world's strongest man for 1993.